I always got the microphone too far ahead. King. Old Otis. I can't I can't cheer for Otis, bro. I can't cheer for him. He's like, conflicted, man. Look, 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 let's keep let's keep it a bean. Let's keep it a bean. Number one, he should just start listening to Chad Gable at this point. Number two, he getting slapped on our tie too much. Do you want that out? Cho- hey, let, let me know your favorite wrestler who gets slapped around like that, King. I'm listening. Uh no? Nah. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh I don't know, but uh championship ringside is back. Him, you got him by like a hundred pounds. Like, come on, man. Shout out to everybody listening. Shout out to Bye Sean Love. Shout out to shouting out. Blizzy Blaze here. I'm ready for the clash. Alongside King. And I was the one who took Liv Morgan's hotel card. Oh, where? Yeah, it was me. It was me. That that, that, that segment got a little vintage. Yeah. Wow. He, he leaving hotel room keys, huh? Like I like it. Khalid was like, she did? Oh, that's cool. It was like, it's not cool. Oh, it's not cool. <laughs> and, and, and what were we and what were we not chanting for that? Like, <laughs> Oh I'm yeah, dapping, I'm dapping down off. I, I don't know what they doing. You when know? he was laying there, she was on top ball. First thing I thought about was Dolph Ziggler. That should have been me. <laughs> I, I, right, I'm, we looking like well, shit. Well, I guess we starting the episode right now. Then you know what it is. Current wrestling takes. All right, look. So yeah, look. This a all GP. I I'm, I'm looking like whoa. Is she Kyle? Go- she she Kyle Gore and Dominic Mysterio on national TV. Like look. yes, like we we. So so we so, so the rule book's out the way out the way now, huh? She already said a gorgeous man, a gorgeous man like him shouldn't be, you know. So, I, I forgot what she said, so but pretty, so, pretty, so pretty much the, the new style is mullets and mullets and, and thick mustaches. Yeah, it's like a revolving circle. Like, I mean shit. I am pretty sure everybody's trying to get a little little Kyle girl on national TV. <laughs> Hey, I, I see you got your head done, Keen. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, hey. <laughs> Saddle up, you know. <laughs> you got a cowboy head downstairs. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, wrestling's wrestling, man. Let's, 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 yeah. let's, just, chop it up. let's, let's, just, let's just chop it up. We, we like, yeah, live, 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 put out the hotel key, Kyle Gurren on TV. Like, hey, look. I, I thought she would just, you know, in, in, enjoy Ronda Rousey's ass, but apparently she's well rounded. She's, she's a, a freak fun freak. girl. <laughs> she's a fun hey, girl. I ain't gonna lie. We, mommy ain't doing all that. <laughs> you know? that's, that's, hey. how, that's how the toxic stuff begins. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That's how it be. You show them a, you show them a whole new world. It's like, wait, it's women that do that? <laughs> <laughs> What about this dude all my life? Like she she bring me to big and big and better things. She opened my eyes more, mommy. Like you can come too, mommy. I'm just about to fucking bring it in there too. Look, let's not forget I'm married. So so we can do it all. <laughs> hey, he, oh, Dominique Mysterio is a Hall of Fame. That's all I can see. Already. Already. Not even 30. Not even 30. He could he could start at number zero and win the Royal Rumble. And go on to WrestleMania and win it in like four seconds. Still not the greatest accomplishment. Like it's still, he gonna be like, oh, he he won the he won the world title. Okay, he got oh, Kyle this, Girl this by Lil Morgan on TV. This dude probably the, the biggest legend of being a playboy up with Dolph Ziggler and sexual chocolate. Hey, I mean Triple H did sixty nine with Trish in the ring and the Attitude Era. I mean, yeah, but you, but the, the I, Rock had to help him out with that, you know. It, it, that, was really the, that was really the Rock dry snitching on some shit, trying to get that man in trouble. He could have some points for that, I guess. But Lil just was like, "Nah, saddle up." Uh, you got? I mean, I don't got nothing on SmackDown right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. I mean, I, where you at with that? You got anything on SmackDown? Uh. Oh, uh, Logan Paul was playing Tetris. Sure, 
that uh, like they 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 match not ready yet. That's that's still cooking. I quit match. We didn't talk about that. I mean, so I because because you know we got look we got we got a few fans we got at least acknowledge that <sighs> you're some you're in for some fuckery. When I say sure. there's one match that's tied to fuckery, is the I quit match. They have yet to have. When is that match? That's this week. Yeah, Saturday. Oh, is that class? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's keep let's keep it a bean. Nobody quit on some legit shit. You gotta take take somebody kid, take your wife. Uh, shit. What else you gotta do? Take record. To you gotta record pre-record it in the backstage. You like, gotta put a. You gotta tie a car battery to the nuts. You know what I'm saying? Nobody legit quits. And so I just want to give everybody a heads up that you in for some fuckery. We're going we gonna to get into predictions well, later. Wasn't John Cena about to slam Batista through like a car or some shit off the stage? That's what it he was? was? He was like, I quit, I quit, I quit. <laughs> you serious? That's what it was? <clears throat> that was like off the stage into like a car or something. That sound lame for him. But well, maybe okay. he picked up the whole car. With Batista in there, and he's about to just f you the whole car. You know what? That probably happened. I couldn't see it. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly what happened. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing that's cooking on Raw. I mean, on SmackDown, on Raw, I got some shit to address. What's up? I'm watching three hours of Raw with nobody saying how how this wrestling is mediocre and how he blessing the ring from Gunther. I don't get. I don't get no yeeting and no, you know, from Jay Uso. Like, what <laughs> we doing here? And I don't get no hypocritical punk on on TV. Like, I, I, come on now. Like, I'm watching three hours of wrestling. I don't get no hypocritical punk out here. What we doing? <laughs> like, like I, I don't understand. You know, shout out to uh, Dragon Off though. That fucking elbow move. God damn, that look yeah. like hurt. I, I probably say let's 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 let me let me roll away from that one. Like you hit you can hit your other moves, but that elbow shit, you know, that's gonna, <laughs> cause, that's gonna cause concussion one day, man. That look like it hurt. Uh, but now nah, shout out to them for having a good match. But uh, that's the small talk. That's all the small talk I got to because because we know we got a real topic to talk about. Oh yeah. All right. Ah. <sighs> So for, for some reason, this is news. This is fucking news. So so the reason I'm doing this is because I open my phone and I hear Ricochet's leaving. It was and everywhere. WWE did him wrong and all this other shit. But you know what? My bad. Ricochet's leaving WWE came. You want to go first on your reaction? Yeah, and since we... Also do a basketball podcast. I'm gonna talk to you in basketball terms. This is the clip was cutting JJ Reddick. It's like, yeah, he he could be a vital piece to the team, but we good if he don't be there. Like it's fine. It's like I wanted to still got talk about that. Hand. Huh? You still got Cedric Alexander. <laughs> he, he still got Cedric Alexander. He, he just do one less flip. That's all. Adrani just took the speed championship. So it's like, like, it's guys that can wrestle that style. Now, Ricochet is amazing what he could do. But it's like, everybody wrestles that style now. I'm pretty sure Gunther could do a flip. He lost a whole lot of weight. So... That was gonna just kind of the ricochet talk and kind of venture off into AEW with King. Cause you know that's what the people are clamoring for. So okay, Ricochet gone. He go to AEW. Then what? I got a list. I don't even know if the list in order or whatever. Tell me one notable thing Keith Lee did since he got there. Lose out, lose our support. 
Bro, cat? Yeah, uh, nah, nah, nah. No. He don't get none of that no more. It's over. Man. He should have capitalized on it when we said something. Fuck him now. <laughs> you don't want to listen to us? Hey. Now look at you. They, you know they, what I'm saying? Everybody was wondering what that jack was made out of. Now they never fucking knew. You could have took that shit to AEW. We wasn't tripping. You know what I'm saying? My bad. Mercedes Mer Monet. What has she done since she got there? Get fucking paid, apparently. Well, yeah, I mean, that's obvious. Tony yeah, Khan, that's, that's the best I got for you. Tony Khan could just sniff WWE, but oh, it smell like Vince. It smell like the dinosaur egg. Oh, how, how, how many years? How much you want? Like, all these guys this sign, bro. It's like, even Edge. Edge got that. It's like, like you love W. This is what you love WWE for? Like, like he he's going to go down. And you know what it is? The excitement that he's going to have another great match with Will Ospreay. And it's gonna be it's gonna be phenomenal. Like I I caught highlights of their first match. It was great. If you like that flippity dippity trippity style, but what you gonna do after that? Bingo. Like all right, they're gonna have to build up the offspring. They're gonna have a great match. They probably do a TV match when they go a thirty minute time limit, kind of like how they did with Omega and uh, Daniel Bryan. And then have the pay-per-view match just to give them a little, a little sizzle before the steak or whatever. And then they're gonna have a pay-per-view and be like, "Oh my God, Dave Meltzer gave this match twenty-five stars." And it's like, "Fuck the bad system." Fuck yeah, system. and it's like, "All right, then what?" It's like he's just gonna go fall to the middle of the pack. Like the other WWE guys, because it's like, yeah, Swerve was doing the thing. MJF back now. They're going to forget about Swerve. And I think he's the world champion. He's still the world champion. Swerve, I guess. But I I, I'm not, I, I feel like WWE would have jumped on Swerve they knew. I feel like they, I feel like they didn't know. They dropped the ball on Swerve. Or they, or they, or they, or they had the money. Like, but... I mean, they do have success stories. I mean, I guess Moxley and Jericho are kind of success stories. Hit hit roll would have been bigger than what they was, but it's just Vince ain't know what to do with them when they got there. And like yeah. it worked with Triple H, they took off, but it was just you know how it is when you go to NXT from NXT to the main roster. You gotta get you got all your stripes back. One one minute you're a hot you're a hot star, the next minute you a fucking model agent, you know. It's 2022 oh, events. Right. But like, yeah, like this shit, like everybody like, oh man, I can't wait for him to go to Rick uh AEW. And it's like, why? So he could wrestle Osprey? Like, I feel like the route he should go, cause he got a name, and he might be a bigger name than what Cody Rose was when he left WWE. Just going to independent circuit. I'm pretty sure if you independent, you could do a one off with AEW and have that match with Will Osprey. And then go show up in TNA. That should be crazy. Like he just go, like he just show up every fucking while. He be in MLW, NWA, AEW. Like that's the only way I feel like he could do something to where you could get the people talking. Because it's like once he get the fucking AEW, Osprey, 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 had a match. Then what? And yeah. That's my rookie shit talk. <laughs> <clears throat> that was nice, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was nice. <laughs> he don't need to go in motherfucking place to accept NXT to learn how to be a star. Like he could put on a good match, but I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. He opened his fucking mouth and they're like, this and that's a star? Like what happened to just putting a mouthpiece with him? But you can't have a mouthpiece as a good guy. Like he should just hold I, I don't, that I don't see how I don't see how it will work him having a mouthpiece. I'm being honest with you. I'm being real with you. Real shit. Real shit. This how this this is my take on Ricochet. Number one, it ain't happening. Like the Will Offspring thing gonna still be the same. It's, it's not gonna result to nothing. Like you said, 
Ricochet going on the independent scene. He not no undiscovered talent. They gave Ricochet buku feuds in, in WWE. They gave him a, they gave him like top feuds. Literally, seriously. If you had to think of five people who could put you over on top, and if you get into a feud with them, like what Roman Reigns, The Rock, Cody Rhodes. But if you want to say Seth Rollins, the fifth spot is Logan Paul. Guess who had a, few, a rivalry with Logan Paul? Ricochet. Man, he ain't do shit with that rivalry. Like, like you had the rivalry, you had, like, and it came, it went to nothing. It was <coughs> what a viral match at Crown Jewel or some shit like that, whatever they called it. The match was viral. This ain't this ain't news, to me. I don't see him going to AEW, like you said, waste of time. He need to go to NXT. Get his get his skills, get his mic skills up, you know, in front in front five hundred people, and maybe maybe we can fuck with him again. But I I, don't, I think we blowing this way out of proportion. No disrespect, but good riddance. Like you know, if maybe you get your shit turn, together, then you know. He could but turn I, hell. huh? Maybe you could turn hell and just be like, I'm nice out here. You see my hoe over there? She nice out here. Hey, got one of the them, baddest bitches in the game. Matter of fact, like, why they didn't just repackage him back to Prince Puma and see if people fucking with that more? You know, Prince Puma, he healed and he got and he got a mouthpiece. You know, that 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 that'd probably be a, a better thing than that. Cause I, like, look, this Cody Rhodes thing. Cody Rhodes, you we see the potential. Of Cody Rhodes, he just had to, you know, get his shit together. Same with uh Zach Ryder. If Zach Wilder come back to WB now, he gonna be a big star. I don't see it in Ricochet. I think I think we overblown what Ricochet is. And I think we overblown the fact that he leaving. Like more power to you, whatever you do. I would I would do the AEW. I would do the uh the independent scene, like you said, just to get the match with uh Will Osprey at like Forbidden Door or something. Ricochet take that match up, and then like you said, go to go to uh. TNA, New Japan, and then try to make a guest appearance on uh NXT. Challenge Ethan Page. It looked like he eventually gonna get the fucking belt. Go against Ethan Page and like put on a crazy match. And they like, oh shit, we want we want Ricochet back in WWE. Don't put him on the oversaturated raw roster. But that's my take on this. Ain't this ain't news to me. Like, I right, this ain't no star, this ain't no mega star leaving. Like, we gave Ricochet Buku chances to become that guy. He was the IC, he was the IC champ, the US champ. Like that's y'all fault. That's y'all fault. Y'all, y'all, y'all caused him to leave. I feel like y'all, y'all want what that man know. He had he's struggling on the microphone. Y'all want what him now. He looking all crazy on the mic. Stop whatting that man. <laughs> Ricky should come out there. Hey, you beat me last week. What? Uh uh. Let's go one on one, you know. Like, I feel like you should be ready for the crowd to watch it. They want every fucking body. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't you wet that. me? Okay, what me? All right, that's 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 kind of all I got on Ricochet leaving. Yeah. All right. Well, it's time to get to the main topic, I guess. Clash at the Castle predictions. Clash at the Castle, Scotland, if I'm being precise. Glasgow. All righty. You already know what I'm about to do. I'm about to look up the uh, the match card. Of course, I'm not sure what the, what's going to happen on SmackDown. This is recorded Tuesday after Raw and before SmackDown. They announced some match or whatnot. They are not fault. That ain't our fault. We trying we trying to put out content fast enough. Since the the day before the pay per view, any fucking week. Come on now. Okay, there we go. All right, all right, all right. So CBS Sports, y'all new huh? to this, huh? CBS you got Sports, to, huh? right? Hold up, hold up. Uh, I'm about to say you're trying to hide. I see y'all. Look, y'all. We 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 at this point, y'all might as well sponsor us. So yeah, CBSSports.com, of course. I don't know why I went there, but shit, we've been doing this since like 
two years strong. Yeah, so we're gonna roll with them when it comes to look at the, at the prediction. So if something wrong, blame them. But, but please, let's get this started. According to them, the first match that got written down is Damian Priest versus Drew McIntyre. Before you even give your predictions, I'm hearing people saying Drew McIntyre might lose this match. What you got? Only way I can see him losing is they got it set up for No Judgment Day. Chicken McNugget Punk gonna come out there. Nah, one sure. Bill, one Bill Phil gonna come out there and screw him. You know this is gonna happen, dog. The dude don't come to work, dog. Like I don't like him no more, son. Like I can't cheer for a dude who don't come to work. Like. Eventually, you don't dap that dude. Hey, we all got that dude who barely show up to work, bro. And we don't dap him off as much no more. Cause it's like, man, you wildin', dog. Like all that stuff, that stuff fall back on me. And I feel like seeing Punk, man, you've been taking like two, three weeks off. Shit, I'm going with Drew. That. I'm going with Drew, man. Nah, they, they they got that got the right decision is Drew. I, yeah, I feel you, and I want. I hope they give Drew his moment. I cannot see Damian Priest holding a belt above his head. I cannot see CM Punk interfering with this match without getting crazy booed. This this people you got to end with Drew McIntyre holding the damn belt above his head. Like he lost to Roman Reigns last year and starts singing with that song called I don't know Sweet Home Alabama some shit. And he was and that apparently he hated that. Huh? I said apparently he hated that. Yeah, he was singing Sweet Caroline. What song was he fucking singing? It don't matter. Sweet Carolina, bomb, bomb, bomb. He was singing some stupid ass song in the middle of the ring after he fucking lost. Like, nah, nah, we can't, we can't do that. We can't do that. I'm going with Drew McIntyre because I don't see nobody else. Yeah, I'm going. I'm gonna go with Drew as because I'm hoping he wins. But who you got winning though? Nah, I, I, I got Drew winning. Who you got winning? I'm going. I'm going with Priest. I think Punk gonna screw him. His obsession I... with his obsession with CM Punk is gonna um, bite him in the ass again. I don't know. This this one I I, I I'm I know I'm in a minority here, but I, I just I'm I'm going with Drew. I I I don't I can't think of a, a storyline that makes sense. I like do. I I'm hoping he I hope he get his moment, but I'm like, it's just by them. Setting up the whole no judgment thing, no no judgment day at ringside. I'm like, Sam yeah, they're, set, they're setting up for some fuckery. Of course, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, the only fuckery that would make sense is CM Punk. He hasn't been around in a while, so when he pop up, it's gonna be a surprise. Oh shit! Damn. Right, let me give me, let me give one more one more thought process of this. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm gonna still go with Drew. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna call it straight up. I'm, I'm gonna go with Drew. Yeah, I just wrestle is wrestling, you know. No, I got you. I got you. I got you. Next up, Bailey versus Piper Niven. Piper Niven in front of home, Squiddy. Yeah, Bailey. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I wouldn't mind Piper winning though. I wouldn't mind either, but she not gonna win the belt just to drop it to Nia. Right. You got you got it. We this is all for Nia at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Some, somebody should make it short as right now. Show Nia thick self with that crown on. I see you. Bro. <laughs> so yeah, this, this is all set up for Nia. So we Piper Niven. Hopefully, you put on a crazy match to where they start taking you like you know more serious and shit. Honestly, you know me and King been champion you since do drop days. You remember Man, what? We had a win in the Royal Rumble one year. <laughs> <laughs> we had a win in the Royal Rumble. Like, the fuck? What are y'all doing? How's she going to get over the ropes? <laughs> Motherfucker can't see we ain't support you. Yeah. <laughs> there is a whole video out here. Like, we, we was cheering for dude. We was cheering for you since Dude Drop Live. Like, hey, look, you know we got supporters over here. We were supporting the movement. We've been supporting the movement. Um, but yeah, I agree with you. Unfortunately, I'm going with Bailey, especially Bailey losing. No disrespect, Bailey losing the belt in another country seemed wild because she because of that whole emotional 
WrestleMania win and everything. It seemed wild to me, so I'm I'm going barely on this one too. All right. CBS got this match next. I don't know if they're going, they're clearly not going in order. So, you know, bear with us. Cody Wolves versus AJ Styles in the fuckery match. I'm sorry, that's say I quit. My bad. Oh, no, no, you had it right. Fuckery. All right. That so I'm expecting, easy. uh, I don't know, Stardust might pop out, you know. Uh, it, I, I don't even know what's going to happen. So, first of all, we clearly know Cody going to win. Uh, <gasps> Damn, what what are you gonna do? What threaten threaten the vanilla ice him or something? Drop him off the top of a building? You know he gonna he gonna pull out some scissors and be like, I'm gonna cut this fucking soccer mom hell you bitch. Oh, there it is. That's the I one. Quit. I quit. I quit. No, not my locks. Not my luscious locks. <laughs> not my not my luscious, my luscious locks. <laughs> I can't think of no other reason. Like, I mean, look, let's keep it a bean. AJ family not about to show up in no damn Scotland. Right? So no. he ain't gonna fuck with the family. His AJ ain't gonna, gonna go like, fuck with Luke Gallows in a in a figure four leg lock. And like, like, what, what, like, it's the hell. You man, look. You gonna have he's gonna have the fucking brood at the barber uh scissors. He'll be like, I'm gonna do it. He's gonna have him mm-hmm. tied up into the ropes. He gonna have his one. He got a hand on that fucking hell. Doing this shit. I quit. AJ built this whole career on being a tough guy. <laughs> so ain't about to sit here and act like, oh yeah, he gonna quit the t- uh, submission. Like what? Getting beat up so bad he quit? Nah, nah. You are right. Cody Rhodes gonna put, next. All of a sudden gonna be under the ring. He gonna get the ones with the battery. You know you can't get the ones you plug in. It's gonna fuck up. We did that with Dean Ambrose and Bray Wyatt. <laughs> can't do plugs. That's right. yeah. So we gotta get the ones with the battery. No, you know, did it. Ain't doing no plugs. Hey, hey, but what if he? What if he still don't quit though? Like Cody Rose tape him up. Oh. And he go ball. He like nope, nope. All right, I got it. I got it. Cody got him taped up. He got him tied up. He can't go nowhere. Cool to put out a cell phone. Call Diddy on the phone. Diddy's black. I'm on my way. Oh, I quit. I quit. Get me the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. Hey, hey bruh. Whatever it's it takes. Not out the realm. It's not out the realm. Whatever it takes. Cody Raheem Rose is, is well connected with the black community. Yo, like in real life, bro, this match will last like, you know, hours. Like, it's gonna be at least 30 minutes, 35. But let's be honest, like you gotta say I quit. Like you can just be the most ignorant motherfucker out in the world right now. Just like nope, nope. All right. <laughs> what is that? I'm about to call Diddy. Next thing you know, it's gonna take him an hour and a half to get here. I ain't tripping. <laughs> Cody get on the mic. We might be here all night, folks. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, yeah. Man, Diddy got a Diddy got a private jet with instant transmission. He will be there. Wet fish on the line. He coming. He might. He might have to. He might have to get AJ Styles to solve a riddle and make a mistake and say I quit. Like, right. so. So you really not gonna give up? Nah. So wh- wh- why did you pick this match? Because I wanted to. What type of match is this? An I quit match. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> hey, it worked for the rock recording mankind. Adrenaline in my veins. Oh, hot damn, that's good cocaine. Like, oh, yeah. Like, Scotland gonna go nuts. You know? No. <laughs> like, that's the, that's the way Cody Rose gonna pay off and win after all that. Because he feel played about the fake retirement. AJ, AJ needed some, he needed, he needed some momentum his way. Like, I get it. <laughs> hey, right. look! If you want some attention at work, act like you' about to quit. I'm about to quit this motherfucker, son. Why? Man, Why? Ain't fucking man. Hey, you, hey, man. I'm about to quit. Hey, this chill, thing. chill, man. What, what you need, man? Take some time off, dog. Make take an extra lunch or something, dog. It's cool. You gotta, you, know? you gotta take the shirt off just to let them know, like I ain't fucking around. Cause I can walk out this bitch. <laughs> I really don't need y'all if you think about I really it. Don't need, fuck, bro, it. It's just a job. <laughs> y'all not even paying that much yet. <laughs> I can go find another one as soon as I walk out of this bitch. Fuck y'all. Cody can't get mad at the hustle. Yeah, he can't. 
Like, if anything, you used to be Jamaican, so you should understand. <laughs> All right. All right. I see championship. I probably should put like time stamps on this shit. I guess so. All right. Chad Gable versus uh Sami Zayn. I'm going to go with Chad. Man, look, before we even talk about this, dog, how many slaps you could take, bro? Like, we, like you cheer for orders right now? You cheer for orders? Uh, not right now. Yeah, I can't cheer for him, bro. Too many slaps. Look, I'm watching Raw. Chad Gable even start having fun with the shit, right? Like, he he slap like... Next thing you know, he like, oh shit, okay, hold up. <laughs> Next week he start. <laughs> like, God damn. Like, and Otis just shaking his thighs and shit. I'm like, come on, man. How we supposed to shit for this? Like, even when he turned on Chad Gable, I'm like, I'm still not fucking with it. Like, whatever he do, not gonna be enough for all them slaps he taking, bro. I'm just saying. Well, like, he gonna have to really break his leg. Like, that's the only he- way it's gonna work. I don't know. He, I'm not, I, I'm not fucking with Otis at all. Even when he do the he do the face turn, I'm not fucking. Like, with him. I, I don't get it, dude. I really. I'm not like, it's not like when he turn face, we gonna be like, oh yeah, we fucking with Otis heavy now. Like, look. First of all, I'm gonna tell you why we never gonna fuck with Otis. Number one, from what it look like right now, you should just listen to Chad Gable. Like, you, you're probably better off listening to him. And two. We never forget you lost Mandy Rose. Get the fuck out of here. Like, we'll never <laughs> cheer for you. you. You dropped the ball. You lost like, Mandy Rose and the money in the bank that year. You dropped the ball, son. We ain't cheering for that shit. <laughs> you better switch the gimmick up, change your name or something. We not cheering for that. At least Blizzard Blaze not. Now, I'm, I'm sitting in the crowd like this. He beating up on Chad Gale. I'm like, if Manny Rose is right up, I'm fucking with it. But nah, he dropped the ball. You better shoot her a text or something, man. Look what look what I'm about to do this dude. Like this for you, babe. <laughs> like, Start talking into the screen. It's this for you, Mandy. You know, but till till he get Mandy Rose back, I'm not chanting for Otis. So nah. Nah. Oh, we were, we were talking about his match though, huh? Oh, uh, yo, hey, who you got winning? Ted. Okay, okay. Me too. I got like, bruh. If Chad lose, what the fuck we've been doing this whole month, bro? Bullshit. Yeah. And honestly, I'm over Sammy, too. I, I need Sammy just to lose because it's like, hey, bro, you had a match against Otis and got one move off. You're looking, little, you're looking weak right now. Like, get that shit back to Goonth if you're going to be playing, if you're going to be fighting like this. Right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jay, at least Jay in the in man, he losing matches, too. But still, like, you know. Oh, cool. Ricochet to John Imperial. <laughs> Don't do that to Imperium, man. Yeah. Don't do that to Imperium. You see, you see, look, motherfucker threw Ricochet at the trail like he was Rey Mysterio, man. Like, nah. Ricochet should do a Drew McIntyre. Just come back and, like, incredibly swollen while everybody just like, what the fuck happened to you with chest hair? You know, he, he come like that. I think I think people take him more serious. But now nah, I'm uh back to back to the clash. I'm going with uh Chad Gable too. I, I think we gotta get this hill run rolling. Like, you know, we can't we can't we can't turn him hill. He can't slap a grown man this many times and not win a belt. You know? <laughs> like when you when you think about it, right? Like I'm gonna catch up to you eventually. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Like, if you think about it, like, if he don't win the belt, that means he 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 been slapping the shit out of Otis for no reason. Like, like, it, it's, I guess it's about making a statement, you know? It's about the principle. It's, a, it's, a, it's principality in this bitch. <laughs> it's about business. <laughs> that ain't going to be like how you balls on wins, but tennis, 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 tennis. Like. This ain't about the I see Bell with me and Otis. <laughs> ain't nobody come to see you, Otis. <laughs> oh, oh my Chad god. Chad Gable was that. If he whipped that all around, 
Fuck, he could come to the cookout. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no slapping though. Like, ain't no slapping. You get a lot of get shot slapping somebody like that in the cookout, bro. Nah, if you tell Oda, ain't nobody come to see you, Oda. And you backhand Maxine, like, fuck you looking at. Like, hey, 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 man. We might be talking about world champion here. He got to tell us I'll get that stupid look off your face, too, though. Like, yeah, he do that. Hey, that's that's my you, IC champ. You want me to slap that stupid ass look off your face? That's my IC champ right there. <laughs> but yeah, bro, you can't slap a, ma- a grown ass man that many times and don't win the IC belt. That's the way the motherfucker hundred pounds bigger than you. Yeah, it, 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 it's gonna look weird, you know. Like, nah, you got, you got, you got to get that back. Then when oldest finally stand up for himself, they gonna be like, "The fuck takes so long." I, I'm not. I'm like, she, she man. Let me see what Manny Rose doing. She posting on IG. She ain't even watching you do this, man. No respect. <laughs> she all, all the fans. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Instead of watching Otis, oh man, look, I don't hear it. <laughs> All right, so now we got uh Jay Cargill and Bianca Bella, which they do. Do they need to eventually just come up with some type of name and interest music? It's like, what we doing here? Nah, they both gotta have their own entrance. Yeah, they 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 both be smelling themselves clearly. Yeah, yeah. All right. Anyway, um, Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark, which okay against fire and dawn which i mean that's because they're a scotland team let's be honest yeah. um i mean look we, 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 we y'all, y'all can say how y'all want feel me and king we already know king picking we picking bianca and jay of course i mean look i'm not sure what kind of, until y'all bring charlotte and becky back as a, as a tag team or or the or you can see the friction going on man we picking them almost every day i'm about week. to tell you like, ain't even close. Like I see Nia and Tiffy being all cool. No, I don't see that happening either. Like if it ain't being, if it ain't Becky and, and Charlotte or a combination of four horsewomen, like Becky and Bailey, I don't see it happening. Yeah, um, <laughs> Bianca and G, that's it. All right, so uh, these these not officially announced. But these are the uh, predictions. They got Logan Paul versus L.A. Knight versus Carmelo Hayes. I'm assuming if they put Carmelo in this match, he going to take the pin from Logan Paul to set up L.A. Knight versus Logan Paul at SummerSlam or some shit like that. Because honestly, he don't deserve it. I, I fucked with Carmelo Hayes, but I don't think he deserves a shot at the U.S. belt right now. Fuck no. Then I ain't gonna lie, these other matches is is kind of whatever. So uh solo versus Kevin Owens. I mean that's solo gonna win. Huh? Solo. You gotta take Paul Heyman out, bro. Not I, yet. I, huh? I said not yet. But you gotta do something, dog. People ain't feeling him. Like, you gotta do something. They, he not in the US title field. Oh, matter of fact, you know what? Just fu- just say fuck it. Get in the US title field. Like just just walk to the ring, hit everybody with some more spike, get on the mic, say, man, y'all must have forgot about me. And walk off. Like, man, look. I stand like and then Paul, Paul Hammer, like, what you doing? You know who the fuck I am? Well, he can't curse. So you like, you know who I am? Hit him with the Kevin Durant. I'm solo Sakor, man. I'm solo Sakor. <laughs> like, I got this diamond, I got this diamond necklace on with no belt. What we doing, wise man? And like, and go to Logan Paul, be like, you ain't getting a full match till I get me. And there you go. You know, I heard they get another bloodline member. It's, the, it's starting to feel NWO is going on. Uh, I think they need to add a female, and that's it. Naya? Gotta be Naya. Like, hey, she, she got the prestige. She could win the, um, the fucking women's belt. Bam. I agree. And as far as with Kevin Owens, I mean, look, I guess wait your turn to get fed to Cody Rhodes. No, no diddy. But yeah. that's 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 I I want I want you to be great, man, but I don't know. I don't know. 
<laughs> for real. Like, it's like, like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I want him to have a belt, like, a, like you know, one of the heavyweight belts. He's one of the best in the business, but it's like, uh-huh. I don't know what storyline to put you in. It's like, you know, it's not like AJ. AJ ran his course. Kevin Owens, he got, like, they got like, they gotta have one more storyline in them. Like turn heel, turn heel, and we'll rediscuss everything, Kevin Owens. <laughs> like right now, you're gonna get fed to Cody. If you turn heel, you might take the belt from Cody for a while. You know, Cody don't need to have his year-long stretch like Roman. He could lose the belt every now and then, you know. But it gotta be worth it. Shout out to Orton. Speaking of Orton, they got Orton and Goons on here. I'm not sure if that match will actually happen or not. The rematch? Huh? I said, I didn't know they had a rematch. I don't, I don't know either. Again, this is CBS. So, you know, you already know who to blame on this one. They got they got it written down for quote-unquote predictions. So, I don't know. CBS, they got that. I don't care who wins that match. Uh, I don't even know this match is promoted, if I'm being honest with you. I don't even think this match is actually I didn't even know. I didn't even know it was a rematch. They on two different shows. I don't even see this match actually happen, but they they got it written down. So, and I yeah, I don't think this match can happen because the other match they got written down is uh Sheamus versus Ludwig Kaiser, and I think that happened on Raw, and Ludwig took Sheamus out with that fucking drop kick to the stairs. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's actually all I got on that. That's Clash of the Castle. Yeah. All right. It's getting late, so let's let's wrap this up with quick game. Quick game. What you got? So to make the Clash of the Castle uh, a little more interesting, I was like, I wonder if we like switch roles. Would it be more interesting? So. I guess we're going to, I guess you pick which one sound more interesting. Right now, we got face AJ, I mean, face Cody Rhodes and heel AJ Styles. Would you rather see face AJ Styles versus heel Cody Rhodes? Yeah. I ain't going to lie. I, why, I, why, like, 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 like everything about Cody just screams heel, bro. Like that homelander shit. Yeah. Like, you know, like I'm perfect. I'm not sure why like why y'all don't realize that I'm perfect. That belt is the one that makes me more perfect, AJ. You don't you don't you don't deserve that belt type shit, you know. And I can see AJ still saying, you know, I'm the guy. You can't fuck with me. I'm I'm the guy. <laughs> like, you know, pretty much still being, you know, the people's champ on some shit, but I'm just the shit though. All right, all right, all right. So you get where I'm going with this now, right? Yeah. All right, all right, cool, 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 cool. Let's keep it going then. All right. Um, would you rather see face Bailey and heel Piper Niven or face Piper Niven versus heel Bailey? Uh I know we ain't seen enough of Piper Niven, but you know. I guess we gotta use our imagination how she'll be as a face. Uh, I'm gonna go with hell barely. I'll be honest with you. I could rock with that, but on the strength that I don't know how face Piper Niven is, if she like, you know, she probably generic. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna stick with what I got. Like, you know, I don't know what's up with Bailey. I know she'd be more interesting as a heel, but I mean, as a face, she I. Right. Piper Niven, she probably trash as a face. So I'm going to just stick with what we got. Um, so the Drew McIntyre, Damian Priest were kind of weird because I guess they both heels. And then and, and, and out there, Drew going to be more of a face. I'm not sure how to do this one. So let's just, let's just, let's just try to see if we can, let's just, let's just imagine. So right now they both heels. Would the match be better if they both was faces? Now does it matter if it's in Drew McIntyre hometown or just? You know what? Yeah, let's go. With, let's go. With, it's in, it's in Drew. It's still in Drew hometown. Yeah, I'm gonna give him 
face Drew just because it's in the is in the hometown. And it's like if face Damian Priest would that would be like a big crazy match because he like what he loved that he loved. Let's like, act like San San Juan. He wasn't getting popped out there. Not not popped like in like did it popped or rapper popped, but he was getting pops like you know people was fucking with him. So. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I ain't gonna lie to you. If they both was face, I'll go with that one. Like, I, yeah, I, I think they gotta turn Drew back, baby face. I mean, he he killing it as a hell, but it's like I don't think nobody really trying yeah, to with, Drew with that seeing punk cloud above. Him, he ain't gonna be able to turn no, no time soon. Why you should turn punk hill? He's a natural hill. Yeah, cause he don't show up to fucking work. Like, what an asshole. <laughs> Face Sami Zayn versus Hill Chad Gable, which what we got now, or Hill Chad Gable. I mean, Face Chad Gable versus Hill Sami Zayn. Hill Sami Zayn is shit. Give me face. Hey. Give me Face Chad Gable. Hill Sami Zayn. I, I so so yeah yeah me too like if you if you if Chad Gay would just go back to the Olympic yeah I think people will fuck with that still and Sami Zayn just being a conspiracy theory sneaky sly heel I think that'd be more of an interesting story I know it's the same old story but it'll be more interesting than you know Chad slapping slapping orders for fun he might try to get back in the bloodline. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he got way he got way more gadgets on him. <laughs> and uh, the last one, I ain't gonna lie to you, I ain't worrying about uh, Zoe Stark, Shayna Baszler, Alba Fire, and Isla Dawn. Would Bianca and Jay be a better heel tag team? Yes. <sighs> like, what? That's tough. That's tough. That's yeah. Tough. It's like. That's tough. Cause I can't lie to you. I'm not a cheesy person when it comes to baby faces, but I can't act like, you know, they not holding it down. They like I don't think they cheesy yet. They they kind of just, you know, I feel like they're not on camera enough to be cheesy yet, but I ain't gonna lie. Them being hills probably will be on some outsiders type shit. <laughs> Jay better as a hill. Like brother as a hill. Huh? Say it again. I was saying Jay better as a hill, and Bianca was pretty good as a hill too. If Bianca wasn't so solidified, that'd be a crazy good idea. Mm-hmm. But I never watched Bianca as a hill, so I, I'm gonna stick with faces on this one. And I never watched Jade in TNA, I mean, I said TNA and AEW enough to sit there and say, oh, okay, she'll be good as a, uh, she better as a face. I mean, better hell. you seen her as like that. I didn't see her like that. So, I mean, she definitely got the attitude of, I'm better than you. So, mm-hmm. and Bianca already got the, the EST thing. So, it's, it wouldn't take much for her to turn hell. But I guess with the whole, you know, she the second biggest face in the company. Can't really turn her. I don't know. I think I, think, I, I, I like I, I like the face. I'm gonna probably stick with the face for now. Yeah, it's, I mean, right now, but like, I mean, if you could turn them, hey, it'll be interesting. But unfortunately, I mean, shit, you had if you if you could turn them, that that help with the four horse from the storyline, like, like just the way she dressed and the way she talked. Hell, yeah. Easily, easily. But and honestly, if they turn hill, like I said, that that help out with the four horse on the storyline. That way, Charlotte, like, and then and then it could be any of the two. It could be Becky and Charlotte. It could be Sh- Becky and Bailey. It could be Bailey and Becky. Or whatever I said, or Be- Bailey and Charlotte. Or uh, I don't know. I know Mercedes. Becky and Charlotte. Huh? Becky and Charlotte. I mean, if Mercedes Monet can get out of contract, she choke up Jack Perry. You know, boom, AEW, I mean, WWE within two weeks. Walking. <laughs> but, uh, nah, nah, I feel that. Like, um, but, nah, that's it. That's all I want. That's, 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 I'm not about to go through the predict, the quote unquote predictions because 
I'm not sure these matches are official or not. So I just want to do that for the Clash of the Camp, Clash of the Champions, yeah. Cl- Clash at the Castle match card. But that's it. That's all I got. All right. All right. If y'all want to see Jane Bianca's heels, y'all think Cody is, is, is a better heel, y'all got to let us know. Y'all got to hit us up. Facebook, Championship Ringside. Instagram, Championship underscore Ringside. Twitter at Champ Ringside. <laughs> Email, Championship Ringside at gmail.com. Look, like, share, subscribe, everything we try to post on that, man. Look, we actually try to put put, 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 put shit up there for y'all entertainment, man. Show, show us that y'all see us. I Just say, I see you, niggas. I see you. And I'm like, all right, cool. All right? Like somebody acknowledges something, you know. Roman, I know you watch like one a, of our like a, like a certain uncle that we know. I see y'all over that bar. Nope, still ain't show up yet. Uh, you know what? Hold up, that's uh, my bad. I, I was trying check to go the whole Q- episode without talking about the team. Huh? Check huh? the QR code. I ain't look them up no more. I'm over this shit. Show the I'm fuck holding, up. I'm holding on hope, bro. Bro, Brian Strowman out there looking crazy. He teamed up with random people and shit. Like he like, nah, man, nah, nah. Maybe maybe how to win this turn? Cause <clears throat> you see. He see a uh, big nephew punk going on a rampage, fucking up everybody. And what he a, like, you know. Like, what if Drew McIntyre win the belt, then Y6 come out and lay his ass out? Like, God damn, that sucks. Fuck your moment, boy. How this back, bitch? <laughs> lay, lay, lay him down in the middle of the ring. I got him. <laughs> he jumped to the announce table. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot <laughs> yeah, we come to oh. take over. <laughs> oh, Kimlin got kicked out now. I mean, I, I the joke is funny, but okay. Oh man, shout out to Uncle Howdy, man, for everybody who's listening. Uh, can't lie to you, Kim gonna jump in, but I think that's it, man. Shout out to everybody listening, shout out to body showing love, shout out to uh. Otis, stop getting slapped around. I, I looking, you looking crazy out in these streets, you know. That Shout out to King, he just jumped back in. What'd you say? That bitch just kicked me out. I ain't impressed nothing. Yeah, how how they how they playing those games? How they like y'all fucking with me? Huh? Uh huh. Y'all thought I know I worked this little internet thing, you know. <laughs> Put some respect on my name, play boy. <laughs> but look, I was just wrapping this shit up, man. Oh. My bad. I was giving the shout outs, but I forgot the TikTok, the YouTube, CR Wrestling, Championship Ringside Wrestling, CR Wrestling 1, I think. Uh, of course, like, share, subscribe to the videos, Cash App. Don't worry about the Cash App. Send the money if you can, Championship Ringside. And just share the podcast. That's the main thing. Let us know you're fucking with it. Throw a comment under there. I don't give a fuck if y'all talk about us. Give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you watch the whole video, though. You know what I'm saying? And uh, of course, we got the video game channel. Championship Ringside on Twitch, Championship Ringside Nerd Station on YouTube, Universe Mood on and popping. I finally started back on <clears throat> on the showcase, and um, you know what? It's not that bad. I mean, that elaborate shit is annoying, but you know what? Like it was just I was struggling with that Eddie Guerrero and Kurt Angle match, and then you know I'm <laughs> back on, I'm on Undertaker. And uh, Shawn Michaels, so got that going on. Start probably streaming that tomorrow. So come on, let me. Otis, be a man. Um, Ricochet. Hi, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bet hey. I always cheer for people who plan on moving up. You know what I'm saying? Live. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, look. Put it this way. Ain't no stuff around the hotel key around us. Oh, up paper, rock, scissors, baby. Paper, rock, scissors, baby. <laughs> hey, I ain't a triple. I'm a gentleman. You go right ahead, Blaze. I got a pregame. You know, I got I to gotta roll up a couple. Of... <laughs> I got to get my mind right. 
<laughs> and um, Triple H, I'm not trying to have no Raw without no Gunther J or Sam Punk, bro. That's I, I get it. You're showing a new talent off, but really, really. And uh, shout out to everybody listening, showing love, man. God bless. Be smart. Stop hating. Stop bitching. Be smart. King, send them home. Hug your wife and kids. And I ain't, I ain't got nothing. I'm losing my voice. It's been a long day. Stop getting slapped like that, bro. <laughs> like, you don't got no female checking you out on TV? Like... <laughs> So after he lost Man the Rose, it's like it was downhill from there. Man, I guess the movies do be based off true stories. That's some that's some that's some Netflix bridging that's, to nonsense. That's, some, that's like, some forgetting Sarah Marshall type shit. Like, man, nah, man. They got like they got look at NXT right now. I know you can get one of them. Like, Mike Sean, pull a sex array. Sean Mike was got them lined up. You know what oh, I'm saying? Lord, we'll holler at ABC. Hey. Huh? He probably could pull a sexy red. Like Sean Michaels got him lined up right now, man. Like, yeah, go put on sexy red, man. Something. You gotta worry about BBL Dressy. Make sure, make sure you know he don't go, he don't be tripping on you. Oh, but that's it. Yeah. <laughs> wrestling, wrestling. <laughs>